we would like to give a small token of love and appreciation to our chief guest of the day, Pandit Debashish Bhattacharya. give a small token of love and appreciation to the guests of honor to Laya Vidwan R. Srinivasan. I would like to call on stage Dr. G. V. Subramanian, Director of Bharatiya Vidya Bharat, Kolkata, who has always been on our side to help. We would also like to give a small token of love to Krishnamurti Mama for all the help and support he gives us with his experience and wisdom. which include Tana Varnams, Pada Varnams, Darus, Prabandham and Kirtanams. But among his compositions, the, the Raga Malikas that he composed were brilliant compositions and earned him the name Raga Malika Chakravarti. Raga Malika Chakravarti is actually an apt name because Ramaswami Dikshita's Raga Malikas are superlative in terms of their length, employment of uncommon ragams and dhanams and paying tribute to deities and patrons alike. The masterpiece among Ramaswami Dikshita's Raga Malikas is undoubtedly the Ashtottara Shataragatara Malika. This composition with 13 charanams comprising 61 ragams and 57 dhanams is his magnum opus which we shall be presenting today. And 
on behalf of our Vidyalaya, I, Kavita Sundararajan, am honored to bring to you and be a part of this audiovisual presentation. Along with me is S. Shiva Subramanian, who will be involved in the presentation and projection today. Before we explore this video, it is vital we show our gratitude and pay our respects to two important sources which enabled us to take up this project. The main source for this composition is Subarama Dikshita's book, Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradarshini, a valuable text on South Indian music and musicology, which he completed after four years of hard work. An interesting anecdote is worth sharing here. Brahmashri Subarama Dikshita, at the age of 60, began writing this book at the behest of A.M. Chinnaswami Mudaliyar. A.M. Chinnaswami Mudaliyar was then the superintendent of the Madras government and a great patron of Carnatic music. He is credited with the Oriental Music in European Notation, which was a monthly periodical that was first released in 1893. Had A.M. Chinnaswami Mudaliyar not insisted uh, on Subarama Dikshita compiling this anthology, it would not have seen the light of the day. We are definitely thankful to him, Chenna Swami Mudaryar, as well. We were also inspired by the famous Veena Vidushi Dr. R. S. Jayalakshmi's lecture demonstration on Ramaswami Dikshita, with special focus on this Ragatala Malika. We pay our respects to her for her extensive research and enriching presentation. We now move on to the Kriti. A Raga Malika is one where the Ragam changes in the Kriti as per the creativity of the composer. What Ramaswami, Ramaswami Dikshita has composed is a Raga Tadam Malika. Not just the Ragam, but even the Tadam changes in this Kriti. Moreover, in this composition, the change in Ragam and Tadam occurs either at an Avartanam or cycle, or sometimes even in the middle of the Avartanam or within a stanza. It is both astonishing and brilliant. The text of the Ragatada Manika is in Telugu. The Sahitya is so beautiful that the name of each Ragam and each Tadam, that is the Raga Mudra and the Tada Mudra employed, is skillfully woven into the text. For each Ragam, there is a corresponding Tadam. The name of the Ragam appears first, followed by the Tadam throughout the composition. The Raga Mudra appears in different forms. In some cases, directly the name of the Ragam appears. Sometimes it is hidden within the Sahitya, or in some cases it can be seen connecting the meaning of the Sahitya to the Ragam name. The Vagayakara, Ramaswami Dikshita, also had a signature or a mudra, and this was Venkata Krishna, which also appears in the Sahitya. This Kriti was composed by Ramaswami Dikshita in praise of his patron, Venkata Krishna Mudaliyar. Ramaswami Dikshita was raising his three sons and a daughter at the great temple town of Tirvaru when Muttu Krishna Mudalya, a translator of the East India Company, visited the town. Muttu Krishna Mudalya, who was great patron of arts, invited Ramaswami Dikshita along with his family to Manali and helped them settle down there. After Muttu Krishna Mudalya's death, his son Chinnaya Mudalya, also known as Venkata Krishna Mudalya, continued to support the family of Dikshita in whose praise Ramaswami Dikshita has dedicated this Ragatala Malika. Venkata Krishna Mudalya, who was also very well versed in the arts and a multifaceted scholar, performed the Kanakambi Shekam for Ramaswami Dikshita. It is important to draw your attention to the fact that Ramaswami Dikshita used the mudra Venkata Krishna in this composition, and in this composition, the name Venkata Krishna in fact appears twice. The first time, it refers to the signature or mudra of the composer and a reference to Lord Krishna and the second Venkata Krishna actually refers to the patron Chinnaya or Venkata Krishna Mudaliya. A major highlight of this kriti that we will present today is the wide variety of talams. The, name the names of all talams uh, will appear directly in the lyrics of the kriti and we, we have highlighted them for you. Ramaswami Dikshita employs both Marga and Deshi Talams. Marga is the ancient system of music which is said to precede the time of Bharata's Natya Shastra that is approximately close to 2nd century BC. 
The Marga tradition signifies that which is chaste and classical and Lord Shiva himself is said to have taught this system of music on his veena in his Sri Dakshinamurti form to the sages sitting around him. Marga was considered the rule-based sacred music devoted to please the gods. On the other hand, the Vaishi system of music was that that was appealing to the human beings. It is believed that Vaishi is that which delights the hearts of common folk and reflects the range of emotions and tunes springing from different regions. It is meant for pleasing the hearts of the people and its nature varied from Desha to Desha, region to region, hence the term Deshi. Similar to the Deshi and Marga music system, the Tadams too are classified as Deshi and Marga. Marga Tadams, in addition to the usual Angams of the Deshi Tadams, that is Lagu, Dhritam and Anudhritam, have other Angams called Guru, Plutam and Kakapadam. We will take this opportunity to introduce these six, uh, introduce the six standard angams of the different talents to you. I will ask uh, Vrinda Radha Krishnan to please demonstrate the different talents. So, firstly, before I begin, I'm really not sure if I'm the right person to be talking about this in front of so many Sangeeta Bhagwan and Nidushis, but I'll try my level best to simply demonstrate the basic six, six angams of the Tara system in Karnatic music. And as uh, Chino Uncle, as I fondly call him, has already explained what the angams are, I simply just demonstrate it for you. So, a lagu is basically one of the angams or the elements of uh, the taram, which are variable in nature and it can be put in different counts. So, a lagu is something where we beat and count our fingers from the little finger proceeding towards the thumb. So, it could be in a count of 3, 4, 5, 7 or 9. Next comes the rhythm, where we beat and turn the palm, so the number of aksharams or beat are fixed, which is two in number. And come, then comes the anudhritam, which is just a beat. Then comes a very interesting angam called guru, which is a beat and our fist would move in the clockwise direction and the total number of aksharams would turn up to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then comes prutam which is basically a different form of lagu in the total count of 12 aksharams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's basically like a lagu, a chaturashya jati lagu in three different directions. Exactly. exactly. So and then comes uh, kakapadam, which is an extension of plutam. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is again like Kavita said, it's in four different directions. So over to you Kavita. Okay, thank you Brinda for that demonstration. So uh, in the terms that we will see today, there is uh, no employment of Kaka Pada, but we will uh, definitely see the other uh, five angams being used. Now, we are familiar with the Sudhavi Sapta Talams or the seven principal Talams that are in vogue and commonly used. And today we will have the young students of our Vidyalaya who will demonstrate over 50 new Talams for you and which are not very easy to comprehend. I had mentioned earlier that uh, in this Kriti, each Ragam has a different corresponding Talam. But if you recall, we mentioned 57 Talams uh, but 61 Ragams. This is because while most of the Tardams uh, are precisely defined in musical literature, the Angams of certain Tardams that appear in this Kriti are not available. Uh, in fact, Sri Subarama Dikshita himself has mentioned he would research and publish about them, but unfortunate, unfortunately due to his demise, the Angams uh, of some of the, these Tardams could not be made available. But at the same time, he has suggested since most of these Tardams follow, uh, have eight Aksharams and or the same number of Aksharams as Adi Tardam, they can be substituted with Adi Tardam at the time of performance. We shall now begin with the presentation. This Raga uh, Tardam Malika is an exemplary composition, no doubt, but an unusual one. To fully appreciate the nuances of this composition, our presentation shall also differ from the usual. As stated earlier, the beauty of this Kriti lies in the changing of the Ragams and Tardams at every stanza and which happens very fast. Every time the Ragam and the Tardam changes, 
it necessitates that we understand the new ragam and tadam and then appreciate its application in the sahitya to make this possible we will visually present the sahitya and the tadams and then we will have the students of our vidyalaya who will be demonstrating the different tadams led by v akshaya this will be followed by rendition of the kriti by brinda radha krishna we also understand that we have introduced a number of terminologies to you in a very short span of time but be assured that this is necessary to be able to even comprehend the genius of the great composer ramaswami dikshitar we know that once the presentation begins a lot of these terms will make sense and we humbly request members of the audience to kindly not put any terms they are not familiar with as it may confuse the participants and kindly keep your phones on silent mode presenting the kriti natakadi vidyalaya in our presentation today of this kriti we will begin with the pallavi and anupallavi which comprises in itself three sets of ragams and talams after each ragam there is a group of chittai swarams in that particular ragam before it connects to the sahityam of the next ragam for example the pallavi is a ragam nate which is set to dhruva talam and is followed by chittai swarams in ragam nate moreover the end of the sahityam of pallavi anupallavi and the charanams will actually consist of a set of chittai swarams muktai swarams and a mahuta swaram in ragam nate this mahuta swaram is like a connecting swaram which appears at the end of anupallavi and every charana and it connects to the pallavi denoting the completion of that anupallavi or charana the anupallavi is composed in ragams gaulai and marali and which will be set to matya and rupaka talams respectively for pallavi anupallavi and charanam we have k ilakya abhinav rajesh advesh shriram and k devesh who will be taking up the demonstration of the talams we now begin with the kriti dhruva talam 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 
A few interesting observations before we begin with the charanams. We see that the composer has favoured many ragams which are janyams of the 15th Mela Karta, Maya Malava Gaudi. By the end of the first charanam, we will see that the composer will have covered all the Suladi Sapta Tadams, that is the seven principal Tadams. The Suladi Sapta Tadams in this composition follow their standard jatis, which we find when we learn Alankarams. We also witness the introduction of Lali Tadam. Starting with Lali Tadam, the Laghus of all Tadams will have Chaturashtra Jat. Lali Tadam with 20 Aksharams is one Tadam whose Angams are not known. So, two Laghus and one Plutam are commonly used for this Tadam. By the end of Charanam 1, the composer also covers the famous five Ghana Ragams, Nate, Gaule, Varadi, Shri and Arabdi. We now proceed to the charanams. There are 13 charanams. Each charanam has 4 stanzas, but the number of ragams and tadams vary. Most charanams have 4 ragam tadam combinations. In the first charanam, we will come across 5 ragams and 5 tadams. We begin with now charanam 1. Jhampa tadam. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sura salam ganatanu nipai soki maitre puta maram chenu dani. Dada pada sa sari madari mama papa dada pada ni. One, two, three, four. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> Lali Tadams 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ati Lali Tadayanu Sarigama, Sarigama, Madam, 
tere sa sa ni sa tere ma 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 pa ma pa da da pa ma pa da pa ni sa sa ni pa da pa ni pa da na. Rati tala. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Padma mala da po. One, two, one, one, two. 
So the composer has incorporated swarams even before the angam of the tadam ends. Brinda, if you could show us how this appears. Sure. <laughs> Swarams came in even before the Angam of the Guru ended, so the Swarams began. So we'll see this pattern emerges in many other for many other ragams uh, in the other charnams. We now begin with Charnam 6, which has four sets of ragams and talams. The first talam is Simha Vikrama Talam and it has the highest number of aksharams, which is 64. In the case of this talam, as well as well, we see that the Muktai Swarams in Ragam Viti Gaude begin uh, from the middle of a plutam as the same occurs in the case of Ragam Vilahari which is set to Shri Nandana Tadam. The last Tadam in this Charnam is Vishama Tadam and true to its name, it, it has an element of Vishama or mischief. You see, it has amongst its Angams a Druta Viramam. A Viramam basically denotes an extra beat which is represented by an Anudhrutam. A Drutam generally has two beats. Adhruta Viramam denotes Drutam plus an Anudhrutam with three beats. We have now P. Adwaya Narayanan and Joel Solomon to help us navigate the intricacies of these Tadams. Simha Vikrama Tadam 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ogadi kami tri Nisa 
ಸಗರಿ ರಾಮ ಬಮ ಗರಿ ಸ ಅಮ ಮಗರಿ ಮಗ ಗರಿ ಸರಿ ಸ ಸನಿ ಸ ಮ ಗ ಗಮ ನಿ ಸ ನಿಧಿ ಸ ಗ ಗಮ ಗಮ ನಿ ಗಮ ಗಮ ಪಮ ಗರಿ ನಿ ಓ ಜಿಂ ಚೋ ನೇ ಪೂಡೋ ಸಿಂ
वसंत काल वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट Corresponding to the ragam Vasanta Bhairavi is Vasanta. 
And similarly earlier, we had a rag on Lalita and the talam corresponding to it was Lalita alam. So these, uh, these are very, there are few occasions where we see this happen. We now proceed to Charnam Eat, which comprises of uh, four ragams and talams. Anush Ramesh and Akash Ramesh will show us how to perform these talams. Tritiya Tala. One, two, one, two, one, one, two. Nadi Samarunna. Presentation of Parvati Tarun. 
वन 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 टू वन टू वन 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 टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू वन टू वन टू वन टू वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू वन टू श्रीमा so like this we have a lot of information about different ragams and there are a lot of aspects regarding these ragams which we we could not present today as it would take another session for the same and it is indeed mind boggling uh, the technicalities covered by the composer in just one kriti so as i mentioned we could actually do another session to elaborate on these ragams and i feel akka is also thinking uh, along the same line <laughs> and she has something on the card no so uh before we move on one more aspect which you can watch out for uh, will be the muktai swarams in the last ragam of this charanam which is in yamuna kalyani it will be performed in oru kale or double the usual tempo this will be followed by ragam nate which will where we will switch back to rend kale or the usual tempo the talams in this charanam will be presented by amrita shriram and pooja and king कोकिल प्रिया ताल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व मदवती का ठो कि प्रिय मोरे 
gamari, sari gama pa 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 dani pa ma pa ma ga gamari, sari ni sari gama pa ma pa dani sa sa ni pa dani pa ma. Raga's sharing same Melakarta 
which have similar swara structures and these swara structures are in close proximity to each other. Even as one sings half or one avartanam, the raga structure is made out distinctively in the midst of other ragams from the same family. In the sternum, Darbar and Nayaki, and in the next sternum, Narayana Gaude and Kedara Gaude bring to forth this feature. We now have Anush Ramesh and Akash Ramesh who will be demonstrating the talams for Charanam Nani. Mm. Pratapa Shekhara Talam. I'm sorry, it is Charanam 10. <laughs> Pratapa Shekhara Talam. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. Bhoganand Bhairavi Purahara Poojita Yo, ra, 
consists of four sets of ragams and talams. We have Pallavi Arjun and Agni Rao to help us with the talams in this charna. <coughs> Vilokita talam. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maruni keda ragoda ta kani. मुकुंद Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gari <laughs> Raja Vidya Tala. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two. Nara Nara Yana Gaula Manu Chukrishna Vida Nani Kila चतुर्थता Once again includes four sets of ragams and talams. For the next two charanams, 
we will have all the performers presenting the talent.
we have now arrived at the final charanam, the 13th charanam, which consists of five ragams and tamas. <coughs> Nandana Tadam 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Raja Bangala Tara 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 1, 2. Mudita Mardava Gola Maratu Mudita Raja Banga Dadi Pudo Dada Baba Maga Maga Isari Gama Pasari Gama Bada Bama Gama Bada Sani Dadi Sani Dapa Maba Maga Isari Gama Akshara Tadam 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, Chita Sahinda Diya Nadi Vikya Akshara Nita Nisari Makadari Sari Mapadana Pamapa Pamadari Saya Nadi Kalatana one, two, three, four. Modi Rahiga Jo Rama Kali Mukamu Vilayukarazi Gara Mimjo Pat Dama Maga Dama Maga Shri Tadam 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Shri Tamudeva Kandhani Pundu Shri Karave
this, we bring to an end the magnum opus of Ramaswami Dikshitar on this auspicious Ramanavami day. This Ragatana Malika, I hope you were as fascinated by this composition as any Rasika of Carnatic music. It is our privilege that we could bring to you this presentation today. We did felicitate some of our very special guests at the beginning of the program and uh, a few others. Uh, they came in a little later when the program was uh, had already commenced. Some of them had to leave. We had the dynamic uh, music musician composer duo, Chorindra Mullik and Shomojit Das, who had graced this occasion for uh, some time and they had to leave. But we also have in our midst Shri Amal Mukherjee. Speak Matri coordinator for West Bengal. Can we have an applause for him, please? And delightfully, we have a very special surprise guest. Uh, and it is, I cannot but mention his presence here and felicitate him. Shri Pradeep Chattopadhyay, a musician, flautist, one of the founding members of the iconic Bengali band, Mungu Bharadari. I will do this. So thank you so much for coming here today. It indeed means a lot to us to have you here. Shrivedi Akka, if uh, we could just hand over a small token of appreciation to Shri Pradeep Chautopadhyay. It was such a mesmerizing program indeed. Such a lively stage flooded with bright little students putting talams unknown to many to many of us. Mm -hmm. The excellent narration by Kavita Sundar Rajan, <laughs> enchanting singing by Binda Radhakrishna, and commanding talam demonstration by Ashwaya and Hati, and synchronized visuals shown by Shiva Subramanian. All is good for all the things that passion is The dedication and hard work that has gone right from the Guru to all her disciples in their performance, and all this, is a big round of applause. 